I'm going to give you a quick tour of the map of letters written to Mary Baker Eddy. You'll find this map under Resources, click on the title, and it will open for you in a new tab. Now this map shows the locations where letters written to Mary Baker Eddy originated. And this is a great tool to use if you're interested in correspondence from a particular city, or if you want to see how Christian science spread by way of viewing the correspondence with Mary Baker Eddy, or it's also just an interesting way to explore the Mary Baker Eddy papers if you're just looking to browse. Now each of these blue markers represents a single letter to Mary Baker Eddy. If you see a number, that means there's that number of letters in that location. The letters are showing on a current day map, but you can also view them on a period map. To do that, you'll go over here, click 1905, and now you're seeing the same markers, but on a 1905 map. And you can zoom in, see a little more detail, and now let's look at a document. We'll click the number, choose a document, and now the document number shows over here, the title, the location, an editorial note, which is a brief description of the contents of the letter. And then if you want to see a bit more, you can click on the letter itself, and it will open in a new tab. You can zoom out again. If you want to zoom all the way out, you can click Recenter Map, and that will do it for you in one step. So right now the map is showing all of the letters from all of the years that we've published so far, but you can also just look at letters from a single year. To do that, click Single, and then choose the year that you would like from the slider. So right now the map is only showing letters from 1880, and you'll see that we've also included a few significant events from the year over here. You can slide along, see the letters from the year that you've selected, along with significant events. If you need to see the help text at any point when you're using the map, just click Help, and the help text that was there originally will show up again. We hope that you'll find this map to be a useful tool for researching the Mary Baker Eddy papers. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to contact us. Thanks.